Hi, I'm Craig Ishii, B2B Product Marketing with Logitech. And today we're excited to talk about how Copilot is changing the game for Microsoft Teams, especially when it comes to getting important details from your meetings. So today we're going to be covering speaker recognition and attribution in a Teams rooms on Windows. And we're going to be showcasing how Copilot takes advantage of this to help employees review meeting content, understand tasks, and get caught up. So let's have a look. Okay, while everyone is familiar with the concept of meeting transcripts, summaries, and AI prompts, there's some real magic that's happening in the conference room that's enabling all of this, and I want to talk about that for a minute. So, in order for Copilot to really be useful, it needs to know who said what in a meeting. Now, when users are on a desktop or a mobile Teams client, this is easy. Teams knows who you are because you're logged in with your unique user ID. But where the magic comes in is when you're in a Teams room, like the one that we're going to show today. There's no laptop, there's multiple people, so how do we know who is who? With the introduction of Microsoft's single-channel audio intelligent speaker for all rooms and devices available now on all Logitech devices, that's right, it's not limited to specific devices, it's all of them. But with this feature, Teams is still going to be able to build a meeting transcript, summary, and action list with individual speaker recognition and attribution, even with multiple people sitting in a conference room. Now, this is a feature that's now available on Teams rooms on Windows. Now, let's think here for a minute how this can be useful for remote participants. With this feature, we now get even better transcriptions where remote participants can not only view the live transcript of the meeting, but they can now see the dialogue attributed to the people in the room. Then, after the meeting, employees can query Copilot to not only catch up on the meeting, but also understand who said what, who was assigned to what, and again, the room was able to associate the dialogue to the right people in the room. Okay, so next, let's do a few things. We're going to quickly walk through the enrollment process, we'll have a quick meeting, and then I'll show you the post-meeting experience and walk us through Copilot. So let's jump in. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need to enroll ourselves in our Microsoft Teams client. So you can see here, I'm just going to click Settings. I'm going to go to Recognition. And now I've got a couple of prompts here that are going to guide me so that Teams can capture my voice. And with this information, that's how it's going to be able to recognize my voice in a meeting room, even when I'm not logged into my individual Teams account. Okay, now that that's complete, there's just a few more things that we need to note. First, is that this feature is available for Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows. So you're going to need a dedicated room PC, you'll need a connected tap meeting controller, and of course, you'll need one of Logitech's video bars like our rally bar line. But it's important to note that this feature is also available across our entire portfolio of Logitech solutions for Teams rooms on Windows. Now, the feature is also going to be available on Teams rooms for Android later this year. So let's imagine that you already have rally bars deployed. An important call out with Logitech is that our rally bar line can be deployed in either Windows or Android. So there's no need to change your equipment as your deployment needs change. Okay, enrollment complete, room setup complete. Let's jump into the demo. So I'm joined here by a few of my colleagues and I'm of course located remote, but they're in a Microsoft Teams room on Windows in our San Jose office. So what I'm going to do with them is we're going to just do a really quick demo of a meeting here just to show you how the feature works. So we're going to first start off with a few quick introductions. So I'll start with myself. I'm Craig. I lead our product marketing team for software partner services, and I'll pass it over. Hi, I'm Rishi Kumar. I am director of alliances and go to market here at Logitech, and I lead our partnership with Microsoft. Hi, my name is Ju Yao. I'm the senior Microsoft Detective of Analyst Manager. Uh, at the Logitech B2B Alliances and the go-to-market team. Okay, now, in order to showcase the post-meeting summary properly, we're going to just have a quick roundtable discussion followed by a few action items. So I'm going to start with June. June, give me a quick statement on why you believe the new feature that we're talking about today is powerful. Sure. I think first, the speaker recognition and attribution is applicable to all of Logitech with your collaboration devices in the meeting room. And the second, I think it help us to significantly improve the meeting efficiency during and after your meeting. And uh, finally, uh, people can ask more flexible questions, which can help them to address their specific inquiries with the help of co-pilot. 
I think that's all the benefits this feature can bring to us. Awesome. Now over to you, Rishi. After this meeting, we've got a really exciting feature. How do we plan on sharing and promoting this feature internally and externally? Great question. So June mentioned Copilot. And, you know, of course, this demo is about demonstrating what speaker recognition and attribution can do on Teams Rooms on Windows. And what that does is it enables Copilot to get better so that now Copilot knows specifically who said what in the context of a Teams Room. Now, uh, this is a new concept. So we have to spend some time educating and training our sales team and our sales engineers on what is Copilot and what is special about this new feature called speaker recognition and attribution. So, so expect a lot of internal trainings. Uh, and then externally, you know, we need to let our customers know. So we have a large install base of customers who use our various video bars. And again, as June mentioned, this feature is applicable to our entire install base that is currently deploying our solutions with Teams, Zooms, and Windows. So expect a bunch of webinars, a number of campaigns with emails sharing this information, as well as videos such as these. So lots of good stuff coming. And uh, yeah, look forward to taking that on. Well, folks, you heard it here. A lot of good stuff coming, including this video. Now, what I want to just do is a quick call out before we close the meeting and take a look at the summary. Now, the call out that I want to make is the live transcription that's happening right now on the right hand side of my screen. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, the, tr the transcription is noting everything that's being said and discussed during the meeting, but it is also attributing that dialogue to the right individual. So even though June and Rishi are sitting in that meeting room and they're not on their personal team's client, the dialogue is still being attributed to the right person. It's just really incredible stuff. And so what we're going to do is we're going to end this meeting. We're going to jump over to our meeting recap screen. We're going to see our meeting summary, action items, co-pilot, a lot of good stuff. So we'll see you in a second. Okay, so let's go to the meeting recap screen in my Teams account. And we're going to get there by clicking the meeting, just like any other Teams meeting here in the chat. And then we're going to select recap here at the top. And so here you can see we're being provided a recording of the meeting. But because I've got a Teams premium license on this account, if we look below, you can also see that I've got the recording broken out by individuals. Now, this is particularly helpful if we're trying to review what one specific individual was saying during the meeting. And then to the right, we've got a couple paragraphs here summarizing the meeting. And then below those, we've also got follow-up tasks. So this is just going to help us to understand who's committed to what tasks. And so this is just a quick 101 of what we're getting with a Teams premium license. But this account also has a Copilot subscription. And so what I'm now going to do is ask Copilot a few questions about our meeting. You can see I've already kind of asked it a lot of questions, but let's keep asking it a little bit more. So you can see here I've asked, what did Rishi say are the action items for about this feature? Now, you just heard it. And so you can see we've got a succinct three bullet points that talks about the three things that we need to do to promote the feature. But let's ask a few more questions here. How many people were in the meeting? Let's also ask who were, what were the names of the people in this meeting? I'm gonna just wait for it to respond here. It's kind of a repetitive question because it just told us who the people are, but I'm asking it again. But let's stop asking easy questions and ask a little something harder here. Let's see, what was June excited about in the meeting? And let's give it just a second here. But when it responds, we're gonna see that we're gonna get a simple and succinct response of what June said. And this is really allowing me as a participant who was either there or someone who may have missed the meeting to see very quickly, June was excited about our speaker recognition and attribution. And he said that it has three benefits, right? It was for all Logitech video collaboration devices. It improves efficiency and it allows for more flexibility in question asking with the help of Copilot. So that's exactly what he said. So we can just see the power of this here. So we're getting the team's premium summary, but we've also got Copilot to help us better understand what happened during the meeting. Okay, we hope you enjoyed that. This Copilot demo is really meant to showcase the deep engineering and QA partnership between Logitech and Microsoft. We're constantly bringing you the next best feature combined with the power of Logitech devices. So be sure to check out Copilot now with the power of speaker attribution in Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows and get ready for a whole new way to follow up and action from your meetings. We'll see you next time.